Yo, what's good? It's your boy Taj. Welcome back to the channel. Back with House of Anubis. Do not worry, you guys. I'm still doing the show. Like, I'm not stopping. Unless I come out and say that I'm not doing the show anymore, then just don't assume anything. I've been having some family stuff going on the last couple weeks, and I just went to spend some time with my cousin, my grandma, my goddaughter. Just it's okay like I, i'm back I, i'm not stopping the show it's just some family stuff had to go spend some time with the family that's it that's all that's all it was but um i'm back um uh yeah the, the these kids need allies they don't have anyone to like be in that corner and trudy is on thin ice so she can't help them we had some Mara and Mick drama, which she overheard his conversation with um, Alfie and Jerome. They got in trouble trying to scam like the middle schoolers or whatever for money. Just, uh. And then Nina talked to Sarah, and Sarah was a little girl when Victor, obviously we heard from the recording, but she was a little girl when Victor was there, but he has to be older than that because he was already old at that point. So how old is he? It's ridiculous, bro. But I'm nervous, y'all, because the story's starting to pick up. I just need the rest of them to get into the fold. Like Jerome and Alfie, just comic relief right now, and Jerome pissing me off, and I don't like him. Um, Mar and Mick, I don't care about this romance stuff. I don't mind romance, but it's like, all right, I need them a part of the main story because now it's getting a little distracting. But it is what it is. But I'm ready to get into it. So, like, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends. Let's get into the reaction. It was terrifying. She was so scared of him. She... She said he killed them. See? So is Joy officially gone? Because that's gonna piss me off. Too creepy to even think. Victor alive when Sarah was a little girl. Yeah, like it's not bad enough he's alive now. <laughs> that was wild. What does that mean? What could be more delicious than this muffin? Shouldn't you be getting? Oh my gosh, she all in the bed, sad. Girl, get up, please. No. You've missed breakfast, and Mick's waiting for you downstairs. Oh, she's so hurt right now. Sick of myself. Wait a minute, where has all this come from? I'm boring. Oh my gosh, here we go. Winkler, seriously, you need to get a sense of humor. I mean, where is the reward for Enterprise? This man suck, bro. Like, Mick shouldn't have said what he said, but at the same time, he didn't know she was gonna be there. Whose fault is it that we're in this mess? Yours. Mine? Let's just say it's ours. I mean, what's the point in... Okay, so I've read every single line. I've looked for underlying passages, secret codes, false spine. Y'all still can't figure this out? This is crazy. It was just the only place where yesterday always follows tomorrow. What in the world is going on? <laughs> what is going on right now? You didn't have to put all your makeup on at once. I was in a rut. Time for a change. Oh my gosh. Is this how she gonna be for the rest of the show? Well, you of all people should know that chewing gum is not allowed in class. Get rid of it, please. Right, collecting homework assignment. Ew! Oh, no, nah. nah, Mara, you tripping. You just put that behind your ear. Mara? Haven't done it. What is going on here? I don't know what you mean. I just, like, don't have it or whatever. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Please? Oh. Don't ask. I ain't gonna lie. I kinda like this. <laughs> Remember what we said, everyone. Yo. I still need to find out what happened to Mr. Winkler. Well, 
actually, it's a very accurate account of how Howard Carter and his team first broke into Tutankhamun's burial chamber. Yeah, but it's a bit boring. I have no clue what they're talking about right now. Something. Uh, okay, how can we help Nina? Uh, ideas, anyone? Anyone? Girls in bikinis. Bro, they some, man, they some clowns. I can't. You wanted to see more action? And more of the stuff that Sarah told us. Uh, who's Sarah? Oh, basically. She's a woman who works part time at the museum. Bro. Amber? Oh my gosh. Gemini, I think. Okay, um, what sort of stuff are we talking about here? Just things like uh, plagues of locusts and stuff like that. Uh, sounds interesting. I don't know what goes on inside your head. What did I do this time? I thought we'd agreed we were going to use Sarah's story to get a reaction from Victor. You almost told him what exactly was going on. Suspected murders. Oh, sorry. I'll do better. It's okay, Amber. And yeah, you're kind of right. We do need more of Sarah's stuff in the play. We just y'all need allies. Y'all need some adults. You can't trust nobody in this town. Sorry. I overheard you laughing about me with Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Dumber. What? You told Jerome and Alfie that I'm way too sensible and serious. Oh my gosh kiss me then i'm sensible and boring i'm sick of it that's why i've been acting all strange today i ain't gonna lie i kind of like mara with an attitude though but not enough to go out with god damn you mick you blew it oh no what i think i left it in the cellar Oh my gosh, bro. They gonna get caught going down there. You boy! What do you think you're doing? Sir, I was uh, just getting into character. Bro, you need to hurry up and warn Alfie, bro. I had a banging. The cellar is out of bounds as well, you know. Get in the house! Jeez, bro. You just scared you're gonna get caught. Alfie, you need to hide or something down there, bro. Y'all hear that dripping noise? What the f- So how long has Victor not been down there? Like, the mask was just sitting there. Jerome? Hey man, this isn't funny! Open the window! Oh, nah. He's stuck down there. He about to see some weird stuff. Damn, that quick? What the hell? Pin drop. Bro, you need to go get your friend, bro. Oh my gosh, you need to hide. You gonna get caught. You better not make no noise. You better not have your phone. Yo, he is scared, bruh. Oh my goodness. Yo, he's still down there at one in the morning. God damn. Bro. This man walking around with this little flashlight on his head. You gonna bring attention to yourself. Fabian. Fabian. Mm. Alfie's trapped in the cellar, dude. You've got to help me. Ha ha, Bro, you suck for doing that, bro. I'm not lying. I swear I'm not. Oh, come on, I'm really worried. Give me a sec. Hurry up. And this is why Alfie needs better friends, bro. Listening to Jerome, you gonna get caught around. Alfie. Damn. So he, yo, they down there. So are they gonna see anything now? Well, Jerome. Gosh. Yo, he is scared, bro. You hear him in there shaking. 
In the cupboard. Open the cupboard. Yo, he sounds scared as hell. What in the world did he see? Whoa, <laughs> I don't like this. What did he see, bro? Come on, come on. Are you all right, man? The door. Yeah. Bro, this is insane. Like, what did he see? And he was horrified. Amara. Oh my gosh, she about to make his clothes pink. Oh. See what you did to your damn best friend? You suck. Feet off the table, please, Mara. Feet off the table, please, Mara. Trudy, did you manage? I ain't gonna lie. I like her new little attitude, but the whole turn of his clothes pink was a little messed up. You haven't eaten anything. Is everything okay? No! I don't believe it! Never felt better. Is everything alright? Ha <laughs> she petty. Oh my gosh. I ruined my sports gear. They shrunk. <laughs> it was turned up to max. It's ruined. My man got pink booty shorts. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm so sorry, Libby. Let's go and look through lost property. I'm sure there is something in there that you can borrow. Oh, come on. Bro. They need to go see Alfie. Why he look all scared? Is he all right? He still hasn't said anything. He's catatonic. What do you think he saw down there? Bro, he's sweating. What the f... Alfie. No, no, no. Could help me. No, no, no. You really need to snap out of this. It's time to go to school. He won't wake up if you try. Oh my goodness. Is he in like a trance? Yeah. So. so go on. You're doing really well. Hi. Alvin. Alvin. Is he having a panic attack? Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho. Whoa. Here. He drunk the elixir. Oh my gosh. Did you give him that? Why was it still in your bag? I'll go get someone. Bro, what the hell just happened? Yo, this is insane, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, they just said something. He... He took a sip of this just before he collapsed. Oh my gosh, bro. This is insane. Is he locking them in there? Is to leave this house until I find out exactly what happened. Well, Al, uh, Jerome, Jerome, this is on you. You put him down there, and he saw it. I never get the chance to tell him how much he makes me laugh. I know he likes me, and he should know how I feel. I mean, wait, what? Wait, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> the tightening up as we speak. He just sitting there like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where the drinks bottle came from or what was in it. I'm not saying anything without my lawyer. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> you of all people must want to see these pathetic creatures get their just desserts. What have they done? It was his fault. Like, it's on him. Honestly, don't know. Like it wasn't his fault, but he did leave him down there and didn't go get him quick. I kept a bit of it in here. I feel like a backup plan. Why didn't you say? Hold on. 
I'm just one day we should just get rid of all of it. Yo, Alfie, bro. I hope he alright, bro. That's crazy. It's all too much. Damn, bro. They got everybody tweaking now. This is crazy. Um, I hope you wash your hands. Going on down in the cellar, Patricia. Or I will go straight to Victor and tell him all about your secret passageway, and that you're all up to something down. You won't say anything. You put him in the cellar, bruh. What you and Alfie were doing down there in the first place, ruin it just as much as the rest of us. Right. Talk your talk, Patricia. Yo, Nina going through it, bro. Don't you understand? I'm like some curse. I was the one who was given the locket. I found the cylinders. I wish I could just go. I mean, you didn't ask for any of this, to be completely honest. So, Captain Nina, Fabian still hasn't solved the riddle. I still can't get hold of Rufus. Alfie's still in hospital. Am I picking up some... Didn't Rufus get put in a damn trunk somewhere? Damn, she gave it up. That's crazy. Bro, what in the actual hell? That episode was packed with stuff, bro. Oh my gosh. Let me get the, the easy stuff out the way first. Mara kind of changing her personality. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like it. <laughs> she was kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. She was. It is what it is. Like, I gotta keep it 100 with y'all. Yo, she shrunk my man Mick shorts. My man has some pink booty shorts, y'all. That's crazy. Yeah, that whole, that was funny. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Jerome, you suck. You put your friend down there for one, telling him to get the mask, and that happened to him. So, your decision got your friend in some stuff, and you didn't even go back for him immediately. Like, why didn't you wait for Victor to leave and then go back to the cellar and free him out? Like, you waited till hours later to go check up on him. Craziness, bro. Craziness. And then they made a mistake and gave Alfie the drink, the elixir or whatever. And that man, bro, I hope he already. Because that's crazy. Damn, bro. Then Nina quit because she felt like it's all her fault. But she ain't asked for none of this. Like, she was nice to a lady one time. And got roped up into all this mess. And it wasn't even her fault she got put in the damn attic either. So she would have never known had Patricia not put in there. Like, everybody is at fault here. <laughs> everybody is at fault. It is insane, bruh. It is insane. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get up out of here. Thanks for watching. Um... I, I don't know what to say, y'all. I don't know what to say. I just hope, I just hope Alfie, all right. I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>